if you want to select a complex topology. Don't do it manually, it is not professional. Instead, do this. Select a face in the middle of your geometry. Then hold control and keep pressing numpad plus to increase selection or numpad minus to decrease selection. You can also press control plus I to invert selection. Congratulations, you have just learned a new tip. If you want to select every other face like this, don't do it this way. It is not professional, instead do this. Select your face and hold shift and select the other. Hold also control and press numpad plus to increase your selection and numpad minus to decrease your selection. Now it depends on your design. You can choose the gap of selection the way you want. Congratulations, you have just learned a new tip. If you want to make these beautiful non-destructive slices for your object, follow me. First of all, go to Preferences and make sure the Bool Tool add-in is enabled. Now create your cutter object and put it somewhere you want the slice to be. Now select your cutter object and hold Shift and select your main object. Then press Ctrl minus to add a difference Boolean. Now comes the magic. Select your cutter object and add a solidify modifier. You can change the thickness to change the gap between the two objects. You can also add a bevel to make it looks cool. Congratulations, you have just learned a new tip. If you have empty faces that you need to fill, don't do it manually, it is not professional. Instead, do this, fill only one face. Then, select the edge connected to the gap. Now keep pressing F to fill all the other faces. Congratulations, you have just learned a new tip. If your texture gets missed when you extrude your face like this, don't worry, here is a solution for you. In edit mode, go to options and check correct face attributes. And here we go, your problem is solved. Now you can create a whole building by applying this technique. Congratulations, you have just learned a new tip.